hi guys welcome back again to the easy kitchen where we make recipes very simple and easy for all so today we're making goat meat stew trust me this is so simple and easy so I'll be using two pounds of goat meat so let's get on with the cooking so first of all I'm just going to season my goat meat with a teaspoon of adobo a teaspoon of ginger and garlic pimento you can use fresh ground ginger and garlic next I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and also a teaspoon of curry powder and then I'm gonna mix everything very well to make sure that the meat is well coated with the seasonings and set it aside for 30 minutes So now I'm just going to cut up my red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper and blend it together with my hot Jamaican peppers, one bulb of onion, garlic and ginger. You can see I have just a little bit of water in the blender to facilitate the blending. I'm using just five Jamaican hot peppers but with the ginger and garlic you can use as much as you would like. So I'm now just cutting up my ginger to help with the blending. And also make sure you cut your onion into smaller pieces. With the bell peppers, I'll be using just a quarter of each of them. I just want their flavor in my stew. So after cutting everything up, just throw them into the blender and blend thoroughly. So now I'm going to add 50 millimeters of mazola corn oil to my pan, heat it and then fry my goat's meat. Fry your meats until they are golden brownish. So now the next step is I'm just going to cut up half a bulb of onion into slices and just add them to my meat. And then add my blended pepper mixture. Afterwards, I'll let it simmer for about 10 minutes to make sure that all the water in it is drained away. After 10 minutes, I'm just going to add 40 milligrams of tomato paste. Next, I'm going to add my blended tomatoes. I use seven tomatoes in all. You can use more if you want a lot of stew. Cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes. So afterwards, you can see that the liquid or the oil in it is draining. So I'm now going to add my seasoning. So I added one cube of Maggi, a teaspoon of nutmeg and two bay leaves. I'm adding an additional 
teaspoon of salt to the stewed for taste. If you don't want too much salt, that is fine. You can totally take this out. So after this, I'm just gonna cover it and let it simmer for another 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, my stew is all done. And there you have it, your simple and easy goat's meat stew. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And have a great and wonderful day. Bye.